Mr. Turbo 458 here. Thought I'd show you my newest project. This used to be the Baja you've seen in my other videos with the Ecotec engine swap. It's not going to be a Baja anymore. Um, as cool as it was, I just decided I wanted a streetcar, so that's what it's going to be here. Um, kind of the wrong way to do it. I've got so much work into making it a Baja, so reversing that's kind of tricky, but. Um, it's going to be a process, but we'll get there. You might have seen this car in my other videos. Um, if you haven't, check them out. If you like them, like them. If not, that's okay. Um, if you are interested in mechanical stuff, such as this Harbor Freight TIG welder here, check out my other videos. I've got some reviews on that welder and some conversions you can do. But back to the car. I'm going to be running this engine right here. This is a EJ20 Subaru. Um, it's actually an EJ20Y Japanese spec engine. It's got the 2002 Subaru WRX intake manifold on it. Um, and it actually fits fine except for a couple holes I got to ream out, but no big deal. This is a twin scroll turboed engine. You can see the manifold down here. So, twin scroll helps with spooling and whatnot. If you're interested about that, um, check out online somewhere. I'm sure you can find an explanation. I'm going to be running a Mega Squirt 3 Pro ECU. Uh, it's full standalone, which is a little tricky. I wouldn't recommend it if you're running dual AVCS. If you're running single AVCS or ALS um, on Subaru engines, I would definitely recommend it, but it's kind of getting into some more modification than I wanted um, just to run the lower cams, the exhaust cams. But hopefully we'll get there and it'll run. The tires I'm going to be running are Mickey Thompson ET Street Radials. They're quite awesome tires. These ones are huge. They're about 10 and a half inches wide. So I'm waiting on my wheels and some IRS parts, and then that'll be put together. Here's the shock mounts I cut off previously. Um, this used to be a swing axle car, kind of a long story, but these are IRS shock mounts that, are weld that were welded on right here. You can kind of see the weld there. Harbor Freight TIG welder. Not bad. It's cast iron. I know it's probably not going to hold up very well, but time will tell. Plus, I may reinforce it with some brazing and whatnot. So there's the back of the car. Uh, the transmission is a Type 2 5-rib bus transmission. Here's the interior. Full cage. Door bars. It's got a dash bar. Running a cheap MP shifter for now. Custom steering column. I was running a center mount uh, rack and pinion on it, but I think this steering column will work for the stock gearbox as well. I'm running Subaru hanging pedals for the brake and the clutch, which is actually pretty easy to do. Can't really see it. I don't have much light in there, but I might do a video on that if you're interested. Let me know in the comments. There's the back of the car. There's where the fuel cell lives. Even though it's back here. Um, here's the front of the car. It was all caged out. Um, I had the beam welded directly to the cage, but as you see, my widened beam is gone. So I plan on putting a link pin frame head on here and that's going to be the front suspension. I'm going to tie these upper tubes here and the lower tubes, uh, these ones here. I'm going to tie those into the beam as well. The center piece here is going to get cut off. Here's the Subaru Clutch Hydraulic Master Cylinder. I'm running a Willwood I think it's a inch and a quarter master cylinder right now. Not too happy with how it's performing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And eventually I'm going to try running a Subaru brake booster and Subaru master cylinder um, as well and run it power brakes. 
Um, we'll see how that works. But there's the car. It's pretty nice. It's a little dusty. And there you go. So if you have any questions about this car or if you kind of like where this project is headed, let me know that you like it. Um, also, subscribe if you like mechanical stuff. I think I said that before. And have a good day.